Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get in, get look get, Sunday. It's Sunday. Get into it. Get into it, babe. You want to drench that motherfucker? Oh my god, that looks like discharge. Jay, shut the hell up, damn it, goddamn. I'm over here trying to show y'all what's going on with the goddamn groper. This is a groper fillet. Okay, and and it's something that that you need to get into because you just disrespectful talking about discharge and stuff. This is some well prepared food, bitch. I've been over here watching Hell's Kitchen. I sure have. I've been over here watching Hell's Kitchen, and I think I'm uh, fancy with it. So we're gonna uh, cook rice out the motherfucking pack, and I'm about to boil some motherfucking potatoes for your bitch ass, bitch. Don't come over here talking about some shit that's no goddamn discharge. I gotta put this shit back in the oven, and I'm slowly cooking it at 200 goddamn damn degrees, okay? Because at 200 goddamn damn degrees, honey, this shit gets nice and in it gets juicy flavors. This is a grouper, grouper, whatever the hell that fish is. Some of y'all look like that need to be gripping somebody's dick. But this is a groper, a groper fish. Yeah. Um, it's been seasoned with onions, chives. Um, what else I put in there? Slap your mama. Mm -hmm. I put some slap your mama. Matter of fact, I think I need to put a little bit more in there. Slap your mouth. You gotta dust it. You have to dust it, bitch. You have to dust it. And some of you are dusty. But that's not why I'm here today. Baby, this is Sunday Inspirations. Okay? And I need to um, boil some potatoes, too. Because um, I'm about to mash some potatoes uh, for this nice, healthy meal or whatever. Woo! Yes, gosh. I just got done doing payroll. Uh, I just paid my advisors. Congratulations to the astrologist, Latia, on the Boots Advisory uh, team. She She's doing a great job of booking these girls. If y'all need an astrological reading, you need to holler at Latia. But first of all, I need y'all to tell me, because I, um, I smoke weed out of a hookah now, and I need y'all to tell me which flavor I am going to be uh, smoking out of today. We have, what do we have? We have Pina Colata. Mm hmm Okay, we have pina colata. We also have banana. Um, and I think we have chocolate-covered strawberries, but I've been uh, hookah in that for the past week or so. Okay, um, so y'all tell me what we're finna be hookah in today. I think y'all gonna go for that banana. Uh, that's what I want anyway, so I'm just gonna bring that over here. <laughs> um, give me the emoji of what you want me to use. Right now, the coils are getting high, and I mix my hookah with my weed. That's why um, it's a smoother high. It don't hit you like a blunt hits you. You don't even realize you high until you are so nice and relaxed, and my hair don't got no tracks because I have locks. How you doing? Let's go outside real quick and check on the dog because the dog has just recently attacked the pool man. The pool man came to my backyard. I keep telling these people I have a hound. There is a sign on the gate that says beware of the dog um and i think that they're trying to get accustomed to the dog because the pool people come every three weeks to make sure that my pool is straight as you guys know i am ambitiously getting ready for my birthday party and my birthday festivities there will be 50 to about 70 people at my house with their children um and i sent out the rsvps for people who are invited to my house if you got the first text message but you didn't get the second you're uninvited you done did something, you done said something that makes me not want to be around you on the day after my birthday. Now, the day of my birthday, I'm going to be in the studio with Chris and JoJo, okay? Chris is my beat maker, and we actually had to push the album back because we are waiting uh, to finalize a celebrity feature, a distribution deal, and everything like that. But Chris got hired as the producer on the advisory board, and he's coming a day early uh, so that we can actually go to the studio and drop this track called New York. Okay, so again, my album is called Roadmap to Mars, um, and it's really fucking good it talks about it's a pop rock album that talks about all the cities i went to and how those cities have inspired me um so the uh producer that's on the advisory board on, on my website that you can book right now uh, he's coming down here and we're gonna work in person for the first time and i'm really really excited about that uh so shout out to chris shout out to latia for being the highest uh booking advisor you are competing with the sex doula who's booking like hell thank you guys for booking my advisor and trusting me with who i trust with the information that they have to give you uh some of you guys are out of order though 
y'all are asking the advisor psychic questions and they're redirecting you into their line of work. Um, the only psychic that is on the advisory board is me and it will remain that way, okay? Until I open my application where it will be a complete psychic network and I'm going to eat off all of y'all. But until then, uh, I am still going to be obliging and marriage obliging with all of your concerns. This has been a really good break, you guys. Very, very well needed. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in my personality. I am rested. This is me. Uh, just three weeks three weeks of rest. Um, next week, I am going to bring back the shows on a consistent basis. Now, I will tell you that in the month of June, I will be going live at 11 o'clock a.m. every single day. Uh, but uh, keep your notifications on for next week. I will give you a show a day. Why am I doing that? Bitch, somebody got to pay for this party shit, and I don't want my bank account to go too low in order to do this. And that's real shit, <laughs> okay? Luckily, I'm a smart-ass nigga, and I paid my mortgage for two years. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going broke or anything like that. But in terms of business, I don't like to see numbers go down. I have six figures in my bank account. When that shit look like it's going to hit five, I get anxious. So I am going to rev myself back up to deliver shows next week for you guys and for your consumption. But for now, my store is open, so you are able to shop at the store. I did re-up on that Lucky Oil. I, um, it sold out yesterday, but we do have another container of it. So if you do want that Lucky Oil, go ahead and cop that. If you need to learn how to use any of those products, look up BSN Boots on YouTube. It's the Boot Shopping Network, and I give you kind of a quick tutorial on how to use all of my magical products that are located in, a, in my store. Uh, if you have purchased tarot cards, they will ship on June the 1st. And I do not sell my whole tarot deck. I'm just selling that one swarm tarot card that represents my gang gang. That squad, squad, squad. You already know. You know what I'm saying. Um, really excited about everything that's going down. I am feeling rested and rejuvenated. I casted a spell. Yesterday, I started my birthday ritual. If you are in the coven, if you are in the squad, you need to pay attention to that post if you're trying to catch this happiness that I'm ushering in. You you know, for me, being a fixer, I toil on things that need to be fixed, and it starts to block my own happiness. Um, this Boots birthday ritual, the intention behind it is not only to reach out and grab what is right there in front of you and it feels like it is evading you, but it is to bring to the conscious forefront of your mind the things in your environment that do make you happy. I am happy when I am surrounded by my loved ones, and I have never facilitated an event specifically for everybody that I love, everybody that is dear to me, everybody that is close to me. So on my birthday, I'm going to really, really be soaking up that energy. I don't even plan on getting that fucked up. I really don't because I really want to experience it and I want to have it in the tangible parts of my memories aside from the pictures that I post on social media. So if you want to participate, the general public can participate by dropping emojis when I request. Um, I am definitely manipulating mass energy so that we all can eat off of that happiness vibration. My coven, you have specific instructions. My squad, you have specific instructions as well. And I started the ritual on a beautiful strawberry eclipsed full moon um, and that video is, is phenomenal. Um, you can actually see the spirit of my intention come off that candle and hit the moonlight and stuff like that happens when you are visually capturing your art and you are a genuine magical practitioner so i'm excited to not only share my birthday festivities with you but i'm excited to share my craft further with you as we continue to develop okay um now i will say this next week's shows don't expect no looks my looks come on i get my nails done on the 19th my hair gets done on the 21st so the following week when i open up all of your gifts that you send me on monday Monday, May 23rd. Uh, that show, I will be opening up all of the gifts. And look, you guys have been sending me stuff. And I'm just, every time I get shocked and surprised. But um, this is uh, all of the gifts that have been in the fan mail. Um, so we collect them right here. This is the fan room. And soon I'm going to put up all of y'all's art in here. Um, this room is going to be dedicated to you guys, okay? Um, so I'm really excited. Thank you for the gifts that have come in. The post office called me and said we have about three more. They have arrived yesterday. So thank you guys so much. Speaking of rooms in my home, hold on, let's go upstairs really quickly because I want to show you um, the beach room. That went viral. <laughs> My handyman is actually on the way to drop off the porch furniture and the lawn furniture for the party. Uh, but this right here is the beach room that is located in my house that has went viral on TikTok. Uh, this room does have full of it's full of real sand. OK, um, and it is going to give the illusion of being on the beach. And this is the view from that room in terms of the backyard that also has a beach over there. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm getting this room together, too. It is not going to be ready before my birthday. So I'm kind of disappointed about that. But it's OK because it gives me a little bit more extra time. And with time comes a little bit more extra money that I can play with to get the room the way I want it to be. But this is going to be probably my favorite room in the house. 
Anyway, I know I'm talking fast. I know I'm talking a lot. We are going to get the Sunday inspiration, but I want to do it by the lake. Um, and right now, I need to boil some motherfucking goddamn gay potatoes right quick. And I need to get my hookah together. Did we figure out what we were um, hookah in today? Let me get my marijuana right here. Okay, so we're going to set the hookah up. I have my groper in the oven still. Those coals about to burn up like the dickens, baby. I'm losing weight. Kind of. <laughs> Okay, but I'm at the weight right now where if you throw in a waist trainer, you straight. <laughs> okay, so this is what I do. I, you know, I come over here. I'm going to, this is called shisha for those of you guys who don't know. Um, and you, it's, it's nasty looking stuff and it's real sticky and gooey and I hate when it gets on my fingers. But you just take your tongs and you throw the shisha into your hookah like so. Boom, I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing over here, but I'm throwing it in there. Okay, like so, boom, boom. And this is Sunday Inspirations. It's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. It is a good word. It is. We're going to have a good word today. Um, so that's just a little update on everything that's going on while I do this. And you are more than welcome to book your appointments for June. I did have to block off the schedule just a little bit for the BET Awards. And I need a custom armored outfit. I want armor up top, but I want it to be a dress at the bottom. And I want my makeup to be fucking fabulous. I want all white eyes with a gold lip. I see the vision in my mind for my red carpet. And it's going to be fucking spectacular. And I cannot wait. It's going to be such a huge statement. Um, and it's so funny making those kind of statements and then coming on live where I see my belly out and me who can in my house chat shit is fucking crazy but i love how technology has bridged the gap uh for mass communication with people that you fuck with and i thank you guys for fucking with me no shade um and this message today is going to be a repeated message but i have a different perspective about the message and again i'm just throwing a little bit of weed in there okay just a little bit of oh not my weed just a little bit of weed you know and it's it's so efficient with marijuana too because it's it helps you save on weed that you do have so I'm gonna go ahead and turn those coals off and we're gonna hoop it when I get back up in here. And you just wanna, you know, I'm getting my hookah together. Just wanna put the aluminum foil in there. Boom, like so. Boom, boom. Make sure it's tight, make sure it's right. And you wanna poke holes in it. And I'm using a crochet needle to do this. Um and just boom, 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 boom. Don't start that crying. Boom. And it, it will be ready when I get back inside. But we're going to go to the lake for this message. Let's check the groper. The groper's good. Um, and we do need to put those... We need to start boiling those potatoes. What are the potatoes there, Chad? Oh, there they go right there. Okay. Boom. Red potatoes. They're from Africa. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? Uh, I think my gay mother taught me that. Okay, so... We're going to just boil them right quick. And we add, I just boil them till they get real soft. And then I add my seasoning and stuff after the fact. Okay, I could put some um, gravy on too. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. What is this? Baby, what's going on? What's going on? You okay? What's going on? Why are you making all that noise? Baby? Did you not know where I was? You okay? It's okay. Uh -oh. I'm downstairs. Come on. Come on, Pooh. Sorry, that's my child. You know, sometimes when you... um. He don't know where I'm at. He he gets loud. <laughs> no, you moon has separation anxiety really bad. So when I go out of town, I have to hurry up and get in the car. Because if I hear him crying as I'm getting in the car, I kind of stall. <laughs> and my manager hates me for it. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me do this right quick. Just put a little salt in there. You don't need too much. You want to wash off your potatoes real quick. And then you'll be all right. Make sure they're still good. Oh, they're not good. Okay, that one is. The bigger they are, the harder they balls. I don't know. And you could, um... I need to... I'm about to cut these. I gotta make sure this is the outside of this bed. <clears throat> what? I know that's straight. Yeah, that's straight.
and I'm just one person, and I just overflowed. I over, I flooded the, I just flooded the stove. Um, hold on, I just flooded everything. Oh my god. Yep, I would have got sent home on Hell's Kitchen today. And that license plate is dead. So don't don't think about doing no crazy shit, bitch. That license plate is dead. I do not live in California no more. Okay, well, looks like my stove is cooking water and Jesus wept and yeah. Oh uh, yes he did. He wept. Oh Mary, don't you weep. Where's the towel sitting here? Oh yeah, my new little boyfriend. He um he put him in here. Wipe off the thing. Oh, Lord Jesus. Just wipe off the thing. Just wipe off the thing. And then, okay, put the little, this on there right there. Okay, there you go. And you just want to hard boil. You want to boil them. You want to boil it? You want to boil it? <laughs> you want to boil it? <laughs> That's what you want to do, bitch. Put a little salt. You don't want too much. Just a little bit. A little salt. Uh-huh. I feel like put. Oh, I got some garlic I could throw in that bitch. And I'm the type of cook that just throws stuff in the pot just to see if it's gonna work out. We're just gonna put. Y'all don't know how to do this garlic like I do this garlic, and I'm about to do this garlic. Garlic. You just want. I need about three cloves, and I'm gonna throw some a little bit of butter in there too. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. Y'all got to get the clothes out the garlic now. I'm trying to tell y'all know how to cook. Y'all be cooking for Ray Carruth and shit like that. I ain't no Ray Carruth type of bitch. Mm. Hold on. I need one more clove. You see, here go the clove right here. You see the clove? You got them. You got them. Wow. That's what you do. And you just throw that up in there. I'm going to put a little butter in there. You want a little butter in there? You don't want too much. You don't want too much. Just that, that'll do. That'll do. Just throw that up in there. Who did mashed potatoes finna be mashed and potatoes? And I got some of that leftover um onions and chives. And then at the end, I'ma add my seasonings. <clears throat> the onions and chives from when I went to Atlanta with Cali. Mm. I've been using this shit as garnish for everything. You just throw a little bit of that in there. Boom. I'm on this whole don't order food type of shit. I love your knife. A fan gave me that knife. Thank you. A fan gave me that whole knife set. Sure did. Thank y'all for that. I love y'all. Okay. And if you want to give me something, somebody in squad put my P.O. box in the comment section, please. So they'll know. Because y'all got until about Wednesday to get them gifts in. Because I'm changing my P.O. box to the east side. That's where I stay at now. I stay at the east side. My P.O. box is on the west side, so I'm, I'm going to transfer it over. Get your gifts in the mail ASAP. We got to go outside so I can deliver this word. Okay, so we done did that. We done did that. The hookah will be prepared. Let me go ahead and, um, whoo, I almost bust my ass. Hold on, let me go ahead and wipe that up. That's that blood I had caused. Whoo, I almost bust my ass and bust myself in front of everybody. Everybody. Okay, let's go outside. We're going to go to the lake, and I'm going to deliver you a word real quick. Y'all ready for the word? If y'all ready for the word, say, I'm ready. If y'all ready for the word, say I'm ready. I've been delivering a word since high school morning announcements. I ain't gonna stop now. Sunday is for motherfucking racing. Shout out to my staff, bitch. Payroll went down today. Hey, baby. Why are you so dirty? God told mighty. Uh, 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 you are dirty as hell. And people finna come deliver the furniture. Lord Jesus. You, you, oh, God. That's why I'm giving you. I'm gonna get your hair cut before this birthday party because you can't be out here looking like that. You can't be out here looking like that, Cerberus. You just look awful. You look awful. You look like you just don't give a fuck about yourself. Okay, so we're just walking, walking to my backyard, walking to the lake, darling. Walking to the lake, darling. So he did what he was supposed to do. I don't know if he put them chemicals in there, but I see that filter on. That filter is on on that pool. Good job, pool man. And he said he put some chemicals in there to kill all that shit up in there. Okay, yeah, we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready. They go to geese. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Sir, I want you to back up. Back. Back, back. 
Leave him alone. 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 Back up. Where's that magic carpet? He normally be out here in the mornings. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 come over here and sit down. Sit back. Mm. Ah, here we go. All right, let's take a deep breath in. You too. Take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath in. Let it go. Let's take it another way. Just take it in. Just take it in. This is a repeated message for today's Sunday inspiration. When you cook, you eat. The effort that you put into something that you are doing is equal to the results that you will attain from actually doing it. No matter if it is a positive thing or a negative thing that you are doing, work has no connotation. I have... Get back! Okay, we're just going out there. I have been the hardest working person I've known in my entire life. Besides from my dad, my dad used to get up at three o'clock in the morning every single motherfucking day, go to work, um, come home, play with me and still have energy enough to handle his own. Come here. Handle his own independent endeavors. Come here. I um, I want to say that work in itself does not have a connotation. Now, your moral code and the justice in which you elaborate on the work that you do is going to be prevalent with the way that you feel about what it is that you're doing. I say that after the doppelganger experience. This nigga getting money because he's putting in the work. However, the work that he's putting in is in vain. Therefore, the connotation that's going along with the work that he is doing has now been embarrassed by myself. Does that make sense? Okay. You need to be very conscious about what work you're putting in and for what purpose. It goes back down to the word intention. What are you trying to do with the work that you are putting in? Are you trying to get rich? Are you just trying to get money? Because if that's the case, your work is always going to be fleeting because money is never going to just stay with you. It's always going to go. But you can recoup the money that you do indeed spend. Understand what I'm telling you. When you put your work into something, you will get a result out of it. That result is not defined by you. It's defined by God and the rules of this universe. Do you understand? Give me a thumbs up if you do. So this is why when somebody who ain't no singer keeps going and going, going after singing and you get to American Idol and they slay your ass and you trying to figure out why the hell they slaying you, it's because you're putting work into the wrong thing. Instead of putting the work into singing, why don't you put the work into cultivating someone else's gift if you have a passion for doing what you are saying that you are doing? Understand? When you have been fueling something, whether it is in vain or whether it is not in vain, there is going to be a cosmic result from what it is that you are putting the energy into. Period. Okay. You can get over here. Get over here. Hold on, because I'm about to put the work into his ass. Get out of there. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You just swimming. Because the attention is not on you. You got to get something to get the attention. I wonder where you got that from. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You're soaking. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I wonder where you got that shit from. I don't know where the hell you got that shit from. If ain't nobody paying you no attention, you got to do something to get the attention off of them and put it on your ass. I wonder where you get that shit from. Come on. Come on. Come on. Matter of fact, just stay out there. Just stay out. Just stay out. Just just chill under the trampoline. Do whatever you're going to do. But I got a message for these people, and you are distracting me. You bad boy. Sit. 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 Cerberus Tarot. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, you want to you wanna show out? Sit down. Sit down. 
sit down. Cerberus Tarot. Come here. Come here. Because you know you're in trouble. That's why you acting like that. Come here. Mm-hmm. Oh, these children. Let me get back up in this house. Let me come. I need to hit this hookah one time. We're going to continue this message momentarily. Hold on, Chen. I'm glad I did come back up in here because the potato's about to boil over. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh -uh. Lord Jesus, turn that potatoes down. Lord, I think the edge just burn, just boil, just boil, just boil. It smells good, though. Okay, hold on. Let me get... I got to get my hookah together, chap. Moon, moon, don't start your shit either. Please. Don't jump into the whirly bin. Don't jump. No. Don't jump into the whirly bin. Oh, God. I need a vacation from y'all. Y'all y'all about to really get on mother's nerves this morning. I'm trying to give the word. And can't even get it. Uh, did I lose my filter? Damn, I think I done lost my filter. Now I'm up here looking managed. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. Let me find my peace. 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 Let me, let me find my peace. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, oh yeah, there you go. Let's get you all putting your energy into it. Sorry, <coughs> I got a phone call, there's been people dropping off my furniture, so please forgive me. <coughs> <coughs> Somebody don't want this, <coughs> <coughs> Somebody don't want this word to come out, but it's gonna come out today. <coughs> when you put energy into something, there will be a cosmic result from the energy in which you have applied. You can plan for the result that you seek, but it has to be equal and adjacent to the laws of this universe, this plane, this three-dimensional earth in which we are inhabiting at this time. And it also has to be feasible and believable by you. Okay? You out here wanting to be the biggest singer, but you don't even believe you can be as big as Beyonce. I believe I'm going to be as big as Beyonce. I believe that, okay? So I operate in that space. Second thing with work is this. You will never, ever, listen to me, put work into something in vain. There will always be a reward and an equal and opposite reaction to what it is that you are doing. I'm the seventh highest paid black psychic in the world. Just ask Forbes, <laughs> okay? But with that also comes my biggest fear. Somebody copying or photocopying my soul and presenting it as authentic. That's the scariest thing in the world for me. And you guys witnessed me, witness my biggest fear and, and what I'm going to do after that. What I do after that is I choose to work and apply my experience, therefore a testimony to assist other people in achieving their wildest dreams. I'm going to go back to something I said earlier this year. There is no manual for how to be successful. Okay? We all strive for it. We all push our friends to get there. But once you're there and you're staring yourself in the mirror and you don't recognize yourself and everybody is giving you all of this praise and you waking up in a house that feels like it should be a damn Airbnb that you could barely afford not even five years ago. I mean, nobody's giving you a manual. So hopefully through my personal testimonies, you see the manual. Okay? I've been the hardest working person I've known because that's just who I am as an individual. I work for creative endeavors. Even when I was working corporate America, I would use my whole check to pay for videographers so that I could be creative in some type of regard. Now, I can't say that everybody has been blessed to see that way or, or operate in that fashion. And that's okay, too. You can learn that. Okay? I've just, I feel like I've had such a bigger calling or purpose ordained to me first because I can handle it and second because I've been here so many damn times this is my eighth life bro people typically tap out around a third or fourth okay this is my eighth one I came back here eight times so a lot of the lessons that I'm feeling humanity is learning right now I came in the world already with so therefore the lessons that I'm learning are rare y'all gotta be honest and following me for the past five years have there not been some very rare things that have occurred in my life that you can't reflect on with your homegirl or nothing like that I just have to be honest that is because something is something God is using me for 
everybody can't be used for. You have had to have been here a number of times in order to do what I'm doing. Now, does that mean you can't be the best version of you? No, it doesn't. Does that mean you have to be here a million times to be Ariana Grande or Rihanna or Beyonce? No, because they're puppets. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, I didn't mean to um, put that out there like that. No, it's easy for a wayward mind to be controlled and to fall for things such as money. I brought this up time and time again. Sephora offered me a deal to be the face of their occult branding. And I said, hell no. At that moment in time, I sent a signal to the universe that said, oh, he's moving with authenticity with the spirit that he has. He's ready to work in a different regard. Therefore, he will be rewarded in a different regard. How is that a dichotomy? I'm going to tell you. I'm rewarded, but I don't feel it. I have it, but I don't feel worthy of it. <laughs> and in the midst of all of that, my purpose is to ascend the planet creatively, inspirationally, or acceptingly. Okay? This is why I'm spiritually gifted. This is why I have so many motherfucking talents. This is why, you know, and, and I have to be honest with myself about that. Everybody can't do what I do. Everybody can't do what you do either. But you need to align yourself with the purpose of why you're here. And does that purpose align with the work that you are doing? Why do you want to be a makeup artist? You know, I, I hired um, Sierra Graham, who will be doing my makeup for my birthday events and stuff like that. She's an advisor, too. So if you have any um, questions about makeup or getting your face done, anything like that, Sierra Graham is who you want to talk to. No shade. She, the reason I hired her for makeup is because she said makeup is her ministry. When she said that, I got chills across my body, bro. And I was like, oh, you have a, you have a job. <laughs> you, you have a job, bro. Because she uses the application of beautifying someone's body to uplift and ascend their spirit. It is beautiful, her interview was. A lot of people that are listening to me right now have cooked and have eaten the bones from the chicken that they've cooked because somebody else is reaping off of your work. Why? Because your work is not aligned with the purpose in which you are here. Is being me in alignment with the doppelganger on crack. It is not. But I'm going to help you by suing the shit out of your ass. And letting you play while you think you're safe. <laughs> I'm going to help you. Be the, be, the, be the best whoever you are you can be. Be the best crackheads you can be. Your purpose is to do crack. When you got off that pipe, you didn't know who you was. That's why you turned into me. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the word. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the word. <laughs> that, has, that has nothing to do with the word. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I've been on break, y'all. I've been reflecting, y'all, and I have... I have a deeper understanding. I do. It's not about how you appear. It's not about your mannerisms. It's not about the stories that you tell. It's about you living in your purpose. And when you do, you'll be blessed abundantly. Go back to the drawing board if you're confused about why you're here. Okay? Get a reading from somebody qualified that can assist you and letting you know why you're here. The point and intention of this word is when you work, you will eat. And I'm going to reference the doppelganger again. He's putting in work. <laughs> Therefore, he is eating scraps and leftovers, but he's eating enough for me to take. <laughs> okay. But even though the work is in vain, spirit does not know, oh, positive or negative. He's putting in the work. That girl stole, Madam, C Madam C.J. Walker stole that girl's hair crack. 
We're talking about crack. And she put in the work and it blew the fuck up while Hattie was sitting up there being cheated on and abused by her husband. Madam C.J. Walker put in the work. But she has to live with the fact that I didn't create this. I stole it. Yes, she made millions. While Hattie, Hattie at least had a genuine life after that. And yeah, Hattie was mad. She was mad as hell. If you haven't seen the Madam C.J. Walker on Netflix, you should see it. But see, Hattie lost her purpose in being mimicked. <laughs> she lost it. She lost her purpose in her her laundry woman doing better than her in what she did. You know what I'm saying? She lost her. So she started working to compete. And I almost started working to compete when I saw that doppelganger. Then I thought to myself, Tarjay, Dollar General, I cater to people who want a Tarjay reading. But people still need to shop at Dollar General. Let them shop at Dollar General. But Dollar General going to pay Target if they steal their branding and their marketing and everything about Target. And you will pay too. How do I know? Because I'm going to work toward it. <laughs> okay. When you're ready to work harder. When you're ready to ascend further. When you're ready to go deeper, you get tried. You get tested. You got to face the boss at the end of the video game. And in the midst of that test, you need to look in the mirror. And for somebody who's always looking at future tense these past three weeks, I ain't done nothing but look in the mirror. No nails. This is my real hair. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. My hair, no makeup. Understanding... What energetic chakras and the way I've been harboring energy all the way down to the root, the cleansing, spell casting, getting back with your gods, bro. Face your demons because they're trying to stop you from working. And once you slay them, work harder. Message for the day. Message. 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 Look, I'm the best at what I do out here. If you're trying to see me one on one, you definitely can in the month of June. I took this whole month of May off to celebrate my birthday and to chill out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you need a text message reading, 24 hour turnover time starting next week. I have those available as of right now. My birthday tickets are up right now, May 22nd, 2022. Charlotte is up. Squad is here. Coven is lit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I want to do brunch with you. And I also want to prom skate with you guys too. And I can't wait for you guys to see uh, the aesthetics return. You guys are going to be so thoroughly impressed with how much, how much, how much refreshed I've looked and how... It's a, diff it's a different boots that will be presented. Um, and it has a bit of a rock star edge. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And it's going to correlate perfectly with my album that will be out in the fall. We are putting our, our work into this album. And I think it's going to uh, go mainstream. At least that's what we pray for. Um, speaking of pray, let us pray at this moment in time. God of the universe, God of love, God of light, I thank you for allowing me to be the vessel of your Sunday inspirational work through my testimony and through the linguistics of my verbiage. I also want to say thank you for the people that always, always come and see mother, see about me. I appreciate them. Let them know that they are loved by me, even though I might not know them by name, just by simply clicking on the default picture that is now that trendy, beautiful uh, painting aesthetic that I did not do myself because, you know, Rush is hacking that shit. Excuse me, God. I'm sorry. I get sidetracked. Thank you for redirecting me. I just want to say thank you for them. Thank you for my pets, bro. Thank you for my staff. Thank you for people that work for me. Um, thank you for the housekeepers. Thank you for my new man. Thank you for um, the evolution of my aesthetic. And thank you for me evolving and not getting so caught up in what's mine, what's, what's ours. And allowing me to really get to know myself over these past three weeks and over this past month. I needed it. Thank you for giving me five great, excellent, amazing years in business. And I pray that I can continue to not only help other people with their business, but allow me to be all up in that business so I can fix that too, God. Thank you. Thank you for the amplification of my abilities. Thank you for that beautiful full moon yesterday that ushered in nothing but refreshing unto me. I say thank you and I humble myself to you for the experience of my livelihood. Allow me to be a living testimony. Thank you for allowing me to be a living testimony thus far. Please reinvigorate my consciousness. Give me energy. 
give me give, give me strength. And as you give that to me, give that to the people that are attuning their energy to me. Know that I am with them, bro. All times. All times. They are never alone. As soon as you click a video of me, I'm talking to you. Thank you for giving me that skill. Thank you for giving me that ability, God. Thank you for allowing the quirkiness and the, the gender fluidity to even use that to reign with your presence, God. Source, I say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to ascend to deity shit, bro. Not everybody can do that. And I, I, I don't take that responsibility lightly. I've been feeling real complacent this year, God. From the pandemic to COVID to social anxiety that seemed to come out of nowhere to this last test of the doppelganger God, I felt almost as if you was just allowing tornadoes to ravage my consciousness. And yet in that feeling, you still give me insight. And for that, I'm grateful. If I have to suffer for somebody else to be saved, allow me to suffer for them. Allow them to see my heart is in this shit, man. Let them know this ain't no game, bro. This ain't no act, bro. Let them let them feel what I feel every day. Let them know I'm here, bro. Thank you, man. Just the, the journey of my life is I I I get anxious and, and depressed even thinking about where I started with no mother, no father, and it just seems as if you calculated everything like a chess game. That I couldn't yet comprehend until recently. The foresight you blessed me with. Just thank you. Thank you for the discernment and the relinquishing of energies. In the form of people that no longer serve me. <coughs> or my people. Give me the strength to lead them into the light, bro. Away from darkness they even generate for themselves. Because they don't yet feel confident to dance in the light. Because everything has been so dark. But I hear the spirit of God say now, they can't see their own light. Therefore, they feel as if they're in darkness. You hold a mirror unto them as I held a mirror unto you. And you will continue to do so. <clears throat> God, I thank you for religion. If that's the pathway for some people to get to you, I thank you for it, man. Thank you. Thank you. With gratitude, I bow. I humble myself unto you. Always. Thank you. And thank you for never leaving, even though I don't feel you. Because I'm so busy feeling everybody you ordained me to help. Amplify your presence in my life, God. I want to touch you, smell you, bro. I want to I wanna feel you all over my consciousness. And in doing so, I give you to them. Some people have no path, God. And you let them find me for a reason. And as entertaining as I am, I will not lead them astray. In my humanity, I promise you. And I promise y'all. I promise. And whomsoever name you choose to address this prayer to, I say amen. I say ashe. I say so mote it be. And I also say and so it is. Amen. Amen. Does your psychic pray for you? I bet you they're going to start now if they've seen this. <laughs> Does your psychic pray for you? Does your therapist pray for you? Do your friends pray for you? Do they even know what prayer is? Show them. Because I'm a minister to the ministers. And what I'm giving you, you got to give somebody else. I love y'all. Happy Sunday and have a great day.